Starting at one and walking to two, that is one step. I mean, that's what it is. It's the directed distance. Now, negative two HS. Well, first we have to figure out what HS is. So what's HS? Negative five, negative six. That is HS. We're going from four to negative one and from two to negative four. Now, we're gonna multiply that by negative two. So that would be 10 comma 12. V plus two mu. Well, V is one, two. What would two mu be? 10 negative six. So when I add those together, I get 11 negative four. What does number four mean? No, it looks like absolute value, but what does it mean? It means magnitude. It means the length. So we have a vector that goes over one and up two. How long is it? The square root of five. How do we find magnitude? X squared plus Envision Y squared. Envision the vector that goes over 1 and up 2. Do your Pythagorean theorem. Now, if you choose to not pay attention, that's your prerogative, but we're not reteaching this again, okay? This is a quick review. You should know this already. If you don't, then you need to go back and do some review. All right, find the components of the vector that has a magnitude of 10 and a direction angle of 32. Now, you're gonna need a calculator to do this because by components, we mean what are x and y. What are the horizontal and vertical pieces of this vector. Well, how are we going to go about figuring that out? Now, if you wanted to use the law of sines, you certainly could, but I prefer just to say cosine 32 equals x over 10. So x equals 10 cosine 32. And then similarly, y will equal 10 sine. 32. So I can find my components. I need to make sure that I'm in degrees. I was playing with my calculator earlier. So I got 10 cosine 32, 8.48. And 10 sine 32, 5.3. So there are the x and y coordinates. <coughs> For the vector whose magnitude is 10 and whose direction angle is 32 degrees. All right, you need a calculator for that unless the angle would happen to be like a 30 or you know one of your special ones. John? No, John, then watch the video, okay? That's what we do when we're not here. All right, number six. You have three days. Three days. Three days. All right. CS. CS. 
What are the coordinates of the vector from C to S? Uh, two. Two negative five. Two negative five. Remember, you need the direction. You need the positive or the negative in there, um, as well as the number. So we're going from negative three to negative one. That's positive two. And from one to negative four, that's negative five. Now, your job, that's CS. We want CS to be the same as HI. In other words, we want HI to also move right to and down five. But it is starting at the point H, uh, which is four two. And I have no idea where it's stopping, but I know that it is moving right to and down five. So if you start here, Go right two and down five, where are you going to end up? Six, six negative three. three. So the answer is six negative three. All right, so that's done. Now we need to get back to our notes. <coughs> And we're going to do, we haven't started. Have we started 6.3 yet? No. <laughs> no. <laughs>